Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Who that nation? Who that nation? We got some breaking news and some great news. Great news. Quan Alexander is back in the black and gold. Adam Scheffner just tweeted a minute or two ago. Free agent line backer Quan Alexander returns to the Saints on a one-year deal up to $3 million. Obviously, Quan Alexander comes from LSU. Played with us last year for about seven games before he got hurt towards Achilles, but... In seven months, he's fully recovered. He's back in action, and he's looking damn good. And we needed this, man. Saints needed some positive news uh, coming into camp. I knew we were going to sign some more guys and things like that. I thought linebacker depth was actually pretty good. So I'm so glad we could make this sign. And um, this is a video I've already done, uh, this breakdown. If you want to go watch that, I'll have the the link, you know, uh, at the end of the video in the description or somewhere like that. But this is what we needed, man. Quan Alexander, man. Him and Demario are back together. The tandem's back together. Ah, just look at that beautiful sight of 5658 right there. Won't get enough of that next year. This is gonna be this is gonna be great. This is gonna be real great. Uh man, I'm just seeing this, so you know I gotta gather my thoughts on this. But obviously I wanted him back. You can watch every video I've posted about a defensive guy or linebacker or anything. I've always said we need 5A back. We need 5A back. And we did it, man. So Unlike the Pelicans, the Saints usually get it right. You know, the Saints usually get it right. So, I'm glad he's back. The defense got so much better now. Uh, that that fills a big a big hole because now you got those two young guys, Pete Warner, Zach Bond. They were probably fighting for a starting job, and and now they're both probably looking at special teams and backup bros. And, and nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I think Demario still has a good two, three, four years in them. I mean, those guys can just, just stay under them, learn, get better, wait their turn. And that's how it should be, man. You really shouldn't have rookies coming in day one just starting on your team, honestly. So, I mean, those two guys are obviously, I think they're moving straight to backup. I don't know how fast we're going to get Quan up to speed or anything like that. Uh, so I think they'll be slow with him. But towards the middle of the year, end of the year, I think it's going to be full, full goal Quan and Demario. Hopefully we can stay healthy this year, man. And, and I'm just, I'm excited. This is, this is, this is what I've been waiting on. This is the news I've been waiting on the most. Now, if we can get Xavier Howard, I might come on here screaming. If we get Xavier Howard, I'll show y'all my face. I know a lot of people been asking me, you know, to, re to reveal my face, which I don't mind. I don't care. I will eventually anyway. But if Xavier Howard comes to the Saints, you guys can see who I am. I cannot be anonymous anymore. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm so excited, man. Quan Alexander's back to the Saints. I don't really have too much on it. Hopefully NFL get their shit together and uh, I can actually get some game film down. I will go through every last game of his because he was a joy to watch for us. And, man, I'm excited to, to see it again. Hey, man, thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to let this old video run real quick. Uh, this is obviously a video I did maybe a couple weeks ago. And I'll just let the end of this run. Just want to not have you all staring at a blank screen once again, you know, once we once we start this back up. But yeah, man, I'm so, so glad he's he's back in the black and gold. Ah, man. Finally, some good news coming out this camp. Finally, 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 some good news coming from the Saints. It's also his birthday today, too. So happy birthday to Quan. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is going to be fun. This season's going to be fun, man. I like it. A lot of new parts, a lot of moving parts. New guys are going to step up. Old guys are going to be what they were. Got a crazy quarterback battle going on. Hey, man, this this team is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I have no idea what you know what the record is going to be, what the outcome is going to be, but I know it's going to be fun watching them this year. And, hey, man, it's Super Bowl or bust for me every year. So, you know, that's that's my outlook on it, and this helps tremendously. This helps tremendously. Hey, man, thank you all for tuning in. It's the Boot Tragedies, and I'm technically not out because I'm about to let this the rest of this video play and, and turn this volume back on so you all can stop hearing me talk. Actually, I'm not out yet. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe click that subscribe button for me. Turn on those notifications so you can see the next great video know that I drop. Appreciate it. And Urch can't get there. They're trying to block down on Quan, which if he stays here, he's probably got. Gordon Johnson just pushes him in a half a step. You're going to see Urch block down to the right, but he's just not quick enough to get to get to Quan right there. Good job from the, the front. And as you can see, that's Malcolm Roach up there, who we're going to need, who just stuffs everything. So, I actually like to see that. Didn't even notice that. 
But yeah, great play on fourth down. This is basically, basically almost the same exact thing when they had that third and seven and they put him in a fourth and one. Just a different result this time. All right, this is the most important play right here. I'll pause this. Look at the scoreboard. Look at the clock. As you can see, this game is over. All Philadelphia really has to do is run the ball, run the clock out, you know, and this this thing is over. 24-14, Jalen Hurts' first win, even though he did get the win. This is what I love about players, man. Big-time players make big-time plays, and when you need him the most, he made a play. Because obviously right now, we're, we need a turnover. It's just, they need a turnover bad. And let's just watch. Did you see that punch? I don't know if you saw that punch there, but I saw it. You see Quan there. And watch this punch. Watch this punch. Right there. Punch the ball out. Ball's in the air. Malcolm Jenkins. I like to see that. I like to see that right there. No Cam Newton in this blood right here. Check Jenkins out. Check Jenkins out. This is boom. We full body in the air. We need this. We need this. I love that. I love that right there. That's beautiful. Let's watch this back angle. Also, Philly is dumb for putting the, <laughs> putting the ball in their quarterback hands in this situation. Just run the ball with your running back and get out of there. See, look, Quan couldn't, he could stop on this play already. Quarterbacks rolling the other way. Game's over. Let me peep this. This play is coming nowhere towards him. But game on the line. I mean, you're down 10. Somebody has to make a play right here. See ball, get ball. I love it. Doesn't over pursue. Perfect punch. You can even see Hurts has two hands on the ball. You can even see. Hurts is protecting the ball. So it's not like he has ball, bad ball security right here. Look, in the hole, two hands. Look at that. He has it tucked. He has it tucked, but beautiful punch. Beautiful punch. Once again, love what Jenkins did there. We land off for that. Get up and celebrate, young man. They needed that. I mean, obviously, they went, went and scored, didn't get the onside kick. But that's just a quick quick glimpse of what Quan can bring to this team and I'm 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 praying we get him back. He's he's one of the players that that changed this defense, the swag, the confidence. Those first four games, even though we played bad teams, defense was on fire. Defense was on fire when he was here. Um I think that actually kind of hurt us in the playoffs. Some other things obviously. And uh we had to play 47 unfortunately. So yeah, man, if he gets back, if he's healthy, if he's anything like when he left before he got hurt, this would be a huge, huge upgrade, you know, for the Saints at linebacker. Huge upgrade. And it would be, I mean, one of the deepest positions we have on the team if uh, Zach Bond and then you have um, Pete Werner. They're the backup special team guys. I mean, those are cali I mean, high caliber starters. Not high caliber starters, but they're NFL starters, you know, in this league. So we'll see, man. We'll see. He's, he's, on, it. he's in on a visit. Don't want to go too, too deep. But if he signs... I might just do a full game breakdown, man, because he's one. Of, he was one of my favorite players in his uh six or seven games he played with us. Wish he didn't get hurt, but you know, it happens. It happens. So, I would love to see this duo back. Can y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz? It's the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out. It's like I lied. I'm back. Um, if you made it this far, you probably already subscribed. But if you're not, can you please? Just click right there and subscribe. It's going to take you one second. If you're not logged in, I get it. It takes so, so long. It's going to take five seconds to do that. So much time. But no, in all seriousness, man, if you can uh, subscribe and turn that notification on, that's the most important part. I'd appreciate it.